Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Will Cassie Plummer's advances sway Kevin Webster? Abang Webster's marriage to Kevin is at stake in an impending excursion to the cobblestones. Cassie Plummer of Coronation Street resorts to violence to achieve her goals. How will A.B. react? Cassandra Plummer, played by Claire Sweeney, has been struggling to make a name for herself on ITV. But while in Weatherfield, the aspiring mechanic has not only rekindled her bonds with her son Tyrone and mother Evelyn, but she has also found a new love interest in Kevin Webster, Michael Lavelle. Kevin, on the other hand, is not a free agent because he has been married to A.B. Webster, Sally Carmen, for several years. This will have little effect on Cassie, who will act on instinct and choose violence in a future Corey episode. Coming up, Cassie expresses her genuine gratitude to Kevin for giving her a second opportunity. Kevin compliments A.B.'s ability to do the right thing for others, citing her forgiveness of Cassie. Abby, who is conflicted, claims she has been summoned for a breakdown and rushes out as Cassie looks on. Abby meets drug dealer Dean Turnbull, Anthony Crank, and purchases some benzos, unaware that someone is filming the transaction. Could it be Cassie? Kevin and Cassie may be utterly ignorant that Abby is attempting to assist another Weatherfield resident. Paul Foreman, Peter Ash, was diagnosed with motor neurone disease, MND, earlier this year after being hit by a drug-addled Carla Connors van. In subsequent scenes, Paul requests that Todd Grimshaw, Gareth Pierce, assist him in ending his life when the time comes. When Todd refuses, Paul admits it's too much to ask but confesses that he's afraid of becoming a hostage inside his own body. Todd, who is sympathetic, drives Paul to the procedure, where he declares that he is in excruciating agony and need morphine. Todd is relieved when Dr. Gaddis refuses to prescribe it, knowing Paul could be up to no good. Later in the Rovers, Abby overhears Paul whining to Todd about not being able to get a morphine prescription and empathizes. Abby has struggled with substance usage in the past and resolves to lend her support to Paul. Todd is startled when Abby arrives at the flat to accept Paul's invitation. When Paul asks Abby to get him some drugs, his true motives become evident. When the beloved character returns, she runs into an old flame. It's time for the Platts to welcome one of their own back to the cobblestones after years away. Lucy Fallon, who played Bethany Platt in Coronation Street, is back in Weatherfield. What will she be doing? Another love triangle is set to form in Weatherfield as Bethany Platt returns to the street after more than three years away. Viewers of the Manchester-based soap will recall that Sarah Platt's daughter left the cobblestones in early March 2020 to pursue a journalistic job in London. In upcoming scenes from the long-running show, the trainee magazine editor returns to her family, and she leaves quite an impression on her old love interest, Daniel Osborne, played by Rob Mallard. As Daniel walks home, his face lights up when he sees Bethany. Meanwhile, Jenny Connor, Sally Ann Matthews, encourages Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan, to go find Daniel and mend fences with a New Year's kiss. But what will she discover? Daniel and Daisy have been having difficulties because he recently realized she has romantic affections for another man, Ryan Connor. And while Ryan left Weatherfield for a new beginning with Crystal Hyde, things between Daniel and Daisy are far from settled. Daisy subsequently tells Jenny about her shame at finding Daniel while he appears to be shifting his attention to his old flame Bethany. In other news, Bethany visits her mother Sarah's, Tina O'Brien Flat, who is overjoyed to see her daughter. Gail Platt, Helen Worth, proposes they celebrate with a family lunch at Speed Doll at No. 8. Daisy notices Bethany across the street and points her out to Jenny. Gail, David Platt, Jack P. Shepard, and Sarah are taken aback when Jenny discloses that Daniel slept with Bethany the night before. Bethany then runs into Daisy when she calls into the Rovers and Could sneers Daniel about give how Bethany MP another opportunity after the end of his relationship with Daisy. Coronation Street airs on ITV every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. The news, as well as Ed's admission that he is still gambling, shook the family and they resorted to utilizing the company's money to solve their financial issues. Coronation Street watchers were heartbroken when Ed Bailey admitted to taking more money from his brother Ronnie Bailey's business account. Ed's, Trevor Michael George's, 
Deceptions were finally revealed to his children Michael Ryan Russell and Dee Dee Bailey, Chinique Sterling Brown, as well as his father and brother Ronnie, Vinta Morgan. The news as well as Ed's admission that he is still gambling shook the family and they resorted to utilizing the company's money to solve their financial issues. Ed was obliged to tell his family that he had lost even more money and had nothing left. As Ed broke down in tears and his family turned on him, the Bailey household came to blows. Ronnie and his father railed at Ed for his lack of self-control until Ronnie realized he might have supported Ed's gambling by engaging in some insider trading. Despite his deception, Dee Dee begged her father to accept her assistance with his gambling addiction. What did I do to deserve you? Ed agreed. Can the Baileys solve their financial problems before Addy Bailey, Lorna Laidlaw, discovers them? ITV fans were heartbroken for Ed as he burst into tears, clearly at rock bottom. I adore Dee Dee, one person said. Dee Dee helping Ed, let's see how that goes, wrote another. Another said, I really hope Ed can pull through this. Lisa may be headed to a rival station now that she is considering new television jobs. Lisa George teased her shocking departure from Coronation Street three months ago, and she could now be joining a hit BBC drama. Next year, the beloved soap actress will bid farewell to the Weatherfield cobblestones. The actress, who has played Beth Tinker for 13 years, will leave the show next summer, according to The Sun. According to a source, Lisa 50 believes that now is the right time to move on and take on new tasks. Lisa hinted about her departure three months ago, so it appears the writing was already on the wall. She confessed in an interview with the Daily Star that she has yet to receive a new Corey contract. She told the magazine that she was just waiting to hear if I get another contract. Lisa may be moving to the BBC now that she is considering new television possibilities. She has previously expressed an interest in conflict and period dramas such as Call the Midwife. I'm really interested in war stuff because my grandfather talked about it all the time, Lisa explained, so I'd like to work on a 1940s drama, or something set in the 1960s would be fantastic. I'd love to play Call the Midwife. She also revealed that she would love to work on 10 Pound Palms with her former co-star Michelle Keegan. Lisa said, I love 10 Pound Palms. A part in anything like that would be incredible. Helen and David will be joined on the popular Indonesian island by his long-term girlfriend Helen and pro boxer David, who have been on a succession of secret dates. Helen took to Instagram this week to share a photo of herself at the airport with her children Matilda, 8, Delilah, 5, and Charlie, 2. Let's go, she captioned the photo. The 33-year-old and her children, who were dressed in gray shorts and a gray sweatshirt, smiled and made peace signs with their hands. However, Helen's harmless snapshot elicited inappropriate advice from her followers, with some criticizing her for wearing shorts on an aircraft. You're going to be freezing on a plane dressed like that, one commenter said. Your shorts are giving me anxiety, remarked another follower. Not because I'm afraid you'll get chilly or because seeing your legs offends me but the notion of your bare skin rubbing against the scabby airline chairs. A third commenter implied that shorts should be worn exclusively while exercising, stating, this is not a gym. Not all of her supporters were as nasty, with many wishing Helen and her children a happy and safe holiday. Have the best time ever with your babies, said one commenter. Another said, have a great time, you deserve it. Sheehan Osborne, David's girlfriend of three years, is also in Bali. The champion boxer was previously involved with Shan and music sensation Yuma Healy. David and Helen are both going to Bali and will be spending time together, a source claimed. She adores David and the two of them have gone on some fantastic dates. Helen is aware of David's connection with Shan and is willing to date him while he dates her. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.